Logan's on the rebound. And we're tied at two. But I tell you what, Jim, I've always liked Logan's. He's always had a nice feel for the game. I mean, like I said before, partial to lefties, but he has a way of getting it done inside, and he'll step away into the arc and knock it down as well. Entry pass is batted out of bounds, but off a Kanish's player, so Niagara hangs on to the basketball. Boy, great look right there at Coach Parada and Coach Mahalik. Both guys really, really want this one badly. Lewis driving, has it stripped away. Up top, Ben will try from three. That draws the iron. And Lewis corrals the rebound, goes up and jams oh, it down. Wow. Tyrone Lewis just showing you what kind of athlete he is. I mean, he made that look easy. I think you don't really appreciate it. He's barely six foot and gathered up and tomahawked it. And that's a two-footed jump that's no running start. That's right under the basket. Straight vertical for Tyrone Lewis. I think you combine our vertical leaps right there, Jeremy. <laughs> We're barely getting to it, that's for sure. Turner inside. He'll kick out. Logan's for three, drains it. We just talked about that in the last possession. Logan's has got a little versatility himself. Maybe not quite as fluid as a Bilal Ben, but definitely when his shoulders are square at the arc, he's got a good chance of knocking it down. And a whistle away from the play. It's going to be a push. And Greg Logan's taking it. I cannot help to think that this game is going to be physical. They're going to be fighting for everyone. There's Greg Logan's right there, the best look in the house at the top of the key, with his feet set and knocking it down, showing some emotion. And if you're six foot seven and you can shoot like that, you're definitely a threat. No question. You've got a spot on my team, that's for sure. Niagara with a fresh shot clock. Ben, entry pass to Egamonye off the glass. Strong move. Well designed play right there by Coach Mahak. A new little wrinkle right there, a little flex duck in right there. They run a little flex screen. Off of uh, Benson Igamoni as his man hedges on it, he ducks in on his defender and gets nice inside deep post position. And it could be fun watching this matchup all night. Egamonye and Logans. Egamonye is strong inside. Logans obviously has the range as we saw the three on the last possession. And he's going to try another one. He's hit on the hand. No foul call. Rebound is corralled by Lewis and back across the timeline. Yeah, a little bit of difference in the looks right there. One thing was open, the other one was not. Another one out low for Egamonye, misses, gathers the rebound, and uses the glass again. I think it's clear to say that Benson Egamonye is dominating the paint right now, and clearly, I don't know if you've seen who walked up to the scores table, Chris Gadley is getting ready to check into this ball game. And Gadley's missed the last six games with an injury, and they're hoping he can overcome the bad back and play a part in tonight's game. Yeah, it's such a tough injury, just kind of one of those injuries that continues to linger and linger, and if you just don't sit out and take care of it, it'll linger with you the rest of the way. Niagara three-point lead, Turner crossing over, spinning, driving, and over Egamonye, but the rebound is tapped in with one hand by Frazier. Those are the things that Elton Frazier, while you're, while you're dialed in on, on Turner and you're dialed in on, on guys like Logan's, man, Frazier can just kill you on the glass. Pass down low for Ben, pump fake, and he'll use it. Easy baskets for Niagara, they're getting entry very easily. No question, Jeremy, you're absolutely right. Big difference in the shot selection of both ball clubs right now. 